When you're configuring Bikecad for the web to run on your own website, you may not wish to give your customers access to all the controls inside the primary dimensions dialog box or in the tubing menu or give them access to every single paint scheme in the paint menu or every option in the seat stay menu. So to limit what choices you present, you can go to the view menu, customize, and scroll down to where we first of all have a list of all the menus that appear in the top of BikeCAD. You can scroll through these, either check on or check off certain menu options that you may or may not want. Reading further along, if you'd like to provide a link for your customers to email their designs to you, you can put the text for that link here, and you can put the address which you'd like those emails to be sent here. Moving along, we have a listing of all the icons that are arranged along the top of the menu. If you want to remove any of these icons, just uncheck the corresponding box, and that icon will not appear in your installation of BikeCAD for the web. All those icons across the top are then also listed in these tabs. The ones that you've unchecked will be grayed out. The remaining options will be accessible, and the controls that exist inside each of their corresponding dialog boxes appear here. So you can turn on or off any control that you may or may not want to appear in your dialog box. So just as an example, I'll disable the controls relating to seat angle, bottom bracket height, and head angle. Moving down the page, we also have a control for all the dimensions in the dimensions dialog box. If you don't want any of these tabs available in your interface, you can uncheck that tab up here. The tabs are listed again with all the contents of those tabs shown. And you can disable any dimension that you don't want to appear in your menu. So this is useful for BikeCAD for the web. It may also be useful for BikeCAD Pro users who find the total listing of dimensions on the side to be overwhelming. Once you've configured things as you like, just go Save Settings, OK, and those savings will be registered to the properties.xml file. You need to restart BikeCAD for changes to take effect. And when they do, you see that the, the seat angle, head angle, and bottom bracket height are missing from the primary dimensions dialog box, as we've requested. The icons that we disabled are also not present. So that's how you customize the interface for BikeCAD Pro and or BikeCAD for the web.